Hello, welcome to another Photoshop tutorial. The concept of this artwork is to illustrate the idea of uh, distance, uh, loneliness, and you can see all this uh, empty space here and this road signs along this uh, rail track. Select the layer mask and zoom in a bit and just uh, start deleting this. To make it quicker you can use the marquee tool, select the top part like so and press alt and backspace to fill all that area and now just uh, refine the mask using the brush tool and we'll put it somewhere here I want to have this glow of light uh, here in on the far end of the tracks because I'll go ahead and activate the background layer again and create a layer mask for it as well and I can use the brush tool to mask this but it's all easier if you use the gradient tool so I'll try to get something something like this and if you want to make it look bigger you can uh, place it higher here but let's leave it there you can start making adjustments but for first let's rename this to old man we still need to add those uh, road signs but we'll do that after we make the adjustments and now you can see it, that these tracks blend a lot better with the background so that was the before and after adding the layer styles before and after using this black to white gradient you have to use low opacities when using the overlay mode because if you use a big uh, high opacity level you'll start to add too much light here 30% in this case uh, is enough okay that looks nice to me let's rename this to sign 1 and this one to sign 2 so and that's how I made this uh, wide road sign here so that I can put that big number there and let's name this heart and just leaving it there is not looking too nice we have to to destroy it a bit okay so that's how how you destroy the heart you can see let's see the before and after so without the layer mask and with the layer mask it looks a lot more realistic now and what I want to do now is create a perspective grid because I want to duplicate this road sign and I want to have perfect uh, perspective across uh, across this uh, you can see these lines here so it has to be perfect click OK now and you will see that on this new layer which I called a uh, grid now I have this uh, grid here that I made and now you can deactivate this grid and see how this looks you can see that it looks uh, very uh, realistic so that's uh, because of that uh, perspective grid that uh, that we used about four pixels depending on the on the canvas size that you have and maybe increase the opacity to 65 so that's one shadow there like so that's the shadow under the man before and after you can see that now it looks like the man is really standing there but just so that it blends a bit a bit better with the background now as a final touch what you can do is use the lighting effects filter I use this a lot in my manipulations and the first thing you need to do is make a copy of all the layers uh, merged on a new on a new layer and you can do that if you press the shift control alt and E or you can also do that if you select the entire canvas using the marquee tool once you're happy with your settings just try to get a bit of darkness here and more light there so click OK to apply the filter and now you can see a before and after you can see this dark part here and more brightness on the middle so before and after it makes it look a bit more mysterious maybe another final touch use a hue saturation to desaturate the whole scene even more and then you can use levels to increase the contrast 
just to increase the midtones a bit, not too much, and the shadows. And uh, let's try that uh, HDR that comes with Photoshop. So I'll create a new stamp, but you can see that you lost all the layers. So you have to do this on a separate layer if you want to get the, if you want to make sure you, you preserve the other layer. So this was the, this was the before and this is the after. So you can do that on a separate document because uh, that way you don't, you keep the original layers. Okay, so that's the end of this tutorial. I hope uh, you learned something new. I made, I went as slow as I could. If you have any questions, uh, you can, as I said, on the download file, you will find the link to the article on my website. So you can post your comments and uh, leave feedback. And this is Andre from PSD Box. Thank you for watching and see you next time.